All right, we finally made it to part three. We're talking about zinc. If you have not uh, seen part one, part two, I put the links down below. But zinc is a very uh, fascinating mineral and very vital to your health. A lot of people are deficient, um, but it also affects the prostate. Um, out of all your tissues, the prostate has the most concentration of zinc of any tissue that you have. And having a deficiency of zinc could lead to hypogonadism, where you're you have smaller testicles, smaller uh, output of testosterone, um, because you need zinc to make testosterone. Your sperm is rich in zinc as well. And also, if you have an enlarged prostate, you may have high levels of something called DHT, which is a more potent version of testosterone. And there's an enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT. It just so happens that zinc blocks that enzyme. So zinc is really important in prostate health, testosterone health, and sperm viability. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is insulin. So zinc is actually stored with insulin. It's involved in the production of insulin. It's also involved in the secretion and storage of insulin. So if you're type two diabetic, it might be a good idea to make sure you have enough. Um, patients that uh, have pancreatitis, for example, are usually low in zinc and also a condition called pancreatic insufficiency. Basically, it means that the function of the insulin is suppressed, and there's two parts to the pancreas. You have the extracrine gland, which is all the enzymes, okay? So if you have a deficiency of the pancreas and you're not outputting enzymes, you're gonna have a hard time breaking down your food, as well as the endocrine portion, which is involved in the insulin and glucagon and other hormones that are related to blood sugars. So you're gonna have lowered zinc in both the inflammatory condition with the, the pancreas, as well as just the um, lack of output of enzymes and hormones. So real simple solution, take zinc if you have a pancreatic problem. All right, so now we're at the immune system. Very, very uh, interesting that your mast cells, the cells that are involved with histamines and allergy reactions and asthma symptoms need zinc as their main mineral. So when you take zinc, it can act as a natural antibiotic, a natural anti-inflammatory, reduce inflammation and, and mucus. And zinc actually can inhibit certain viruses as well, uh, especially the rhinovirus of the sinuses. The superficial internal layer that surrounds your airways are loaded with zinc, okay? Of course, you have all these mast cells there waiting to uh, deal with any type of uh, foreign uh, particles, like pollen, for example. Zinc can decrease the time of having the common cold. If you can take zinc right at the very beginning of getting a cold, you can shorten the time considerably. Now, another interesting side note about zinc is that uh, certain funguses, candida, um, grow with these minerals. And so they will tend to steal your zinc and other minerals like manganese. And if they take your zinc and leave you deficient, then they can survive better because they weaken your immune system. So there is this underlying immune battle between your immune system and microbes and trying to snatch up and steal all this zinc right here. So I hope you guys now have an increased awareness of the importance of this really simple trace mineral in your entire health. I always recommend taking trace minerals in their complete blend, not just taking one trace mineral because you need other trace minerals as well. So find a good trace mineral that you can take on a regular basis to compensate for all the other deficiencies in your environment and your food. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, real quick, I have a new healthy keto eating plan for you. Just go to drberg.com. It's right on the front page. I put a link down below. Download it. It's free. Check it out.